Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all the likes and subscribes from the latest pick piles and the latest uh, Divine Partnership updates, the energy updates. Um, we're going to do the same format um, this week as we did in the last uh, energy update. We're going to do the overall energies for the masculine, feminine, and union energies. Um, and then I'll split the video there and upload the full reading. Um, so depending on what it is that you are looking for, if you are interested, if it's resonating with you, the overall energies then you can continue on into the full reading um, I, I think you know people kind of like that I enjoy doing that um, and the readings you know my readings I channel until the messages are complete they, until they feel satisfied um, so I know the readings can get kind of long um, so the overall energies there is a lot of information that comes through with just those few cards um, so we're gonna um, I think split it up into that and then dive deeper into what's going on with the masculine and feminine energies so there's a couple of announcements that I want to make um, in conjunction with that. Um, if you notice that I am pulling back um, from readings on the channel for a little bit, I have a new book coming out. I'm refocusing on my business, my other business. Um, but if you are interested in a personal reading, if my energy vibes with you, if the readings are vibing with you, um, resonating with you, and you want me to tap into your energy, um, let me know. You can book a personal private reading with me. I do prioritize those. So that'll be, you know, you'll get that between two to three business days from payment. And I also offer a number of different spreads um, that can suit different price points. So depending on what it is that you're looking for. I don't just do um, divine partnership readings uh, and relationship readings, although that is kind of what I focus on. I also have done career readings. I do family dynamics. Um, whatever it is that you're looking for, um, I tap into your energy and see what's going on there with a bunch of cards, uh, tarot cards, traditional tarot, and oracle cards. So... Um, I also want to make an announcement that um, I have been guided to kind of, you know, when I started this channel, I've really been about the healing, um, healing for the personal journey of ascension. You know, the relationship, the twin flame dynamic, that is a part of the path that I personally have been on. Um, but that is not the whole path. The, the whole point is ascension. That's just one path to ascension, you know, and we want that relationship. We want that icing on the cake, so to speak, because we love our divine counterparts so much. You know, we want to be with them. It, it feels meant to be. It feels like that true love, but I know that is not the, the entire purpose of the Ascension Journey. The Ascension Journey is about coming into wholeness within yourself, then you come into alignment with your divine counterpart, and then together with the work of the divine, you get into your mission work and you start, you know, helping the planet raise in vibrations because you are in a place of pure unconditional love, because you understand and feel and and emanate pure unconditional love. That is what the journey is really all about. Um, remembering who you are on a soul level, remembering that you are love and light, remembering your authentic self. Um, so, you know, I do focus on the relationship a bit, you know, because, you know, we want to know what's going on with our divine counterpart, because we want to come together, um, because that coming together is all about coming together in love. And as you come together in love, then you, you know, that love that you feel for each other then expands to the entire world. And that is part of unity consciousness. It is, you know, bridging that gap and showing the world that this is a new paradigm of love, that there's a new template to relationships, that there's a new template to love, to love one another through unconditional means, without any expectations, without any barriers, without any boxes, um, that it is truly a new template of love that we are bringing down from the 5D. Um, listen to the last Divine Partnership reading. It was a beautiful channeled messages there about the fifth dimension, consci unity consciousness, Christ consciousness, and what we are really doing on this journey, bringing that template it down into this you know this physical reality um, but it was it is about a shifting consciousness it is about a changing view on love and what love really means and so as you love yourself as you come into alignment with yourself wholeness within yourself and it is wholeness within yourself first you know not not looking to any outside resources to, to provide you what it is that you want you have everything within yourself and you know that you know that you're magnificent creatures you know that you are souls that are powerful beyond measure and as you understand that as you come into alignment with that then you come into alignment with your divine counterpart and every other living consciousness on the planet you come into this unity consciousness and and loving your divine partner is a part of that. You know, being with your divine partner is a part of that because you are the masculine to their feminine, the feminine to their masculine. You are divine counterparts. This is much more than a soulmate connection. When you have a soulmate connection, um, 
and I'm speaking specifically for the Twin Flames. Um, that is just a label. It is a spiritual connection. So you could call it soulmate connection. It is just a label. But I'm speaking beyond that traditional soulmate connection, what we know is a soulmate connection. I'm talking about, you know, because we have soulmate connections, you know, our tribe. We have soulmate connections with family members, with children, with friends, with siblings, with adult um, adults and children, and even animals. We have soulmate connections. Um, and you feel it. Um, the, the Twin Flame, and I'll use that, that Twin Flame twin soul connection you understand it you know it's just a label it's that feeling inside of you that you know that it transcends anything you've ever experienced before you know that it is a divinely guided connection you know that it is the divine the universe source whatever that love energy is love bringing you two together you recognize that and um that's the path that you know if you're watching this video that is a path to ascension that you are on um whether you understand that or not whether you have uh really you know come to an awareness of that an awakening of that or not that is a path that you have um found yourself on and it is a beautiful beautiful journey because it is a journey first and foremost for the self and then it is a journey that helps to uplift the entire planet to a new paradigm of love to a new uh, paradigm of harmony and peace and again bringing that five the fifth dimension and above those higher realms down into the physical to create this new earth to create this new paradigm um so I, you know, I do channel with regards to this divine partnership reading. I do the readings based on this divine partnership. Um, but it's really been, you know, in the beginning it was about the healing. And I'm being guided to move towards, more towards the ascension journey itself. Um, so I'm going to still continue the divine partnership with regards to the relationship, the masculine and feminine, what's going on with the union energies. Um, but the past few weeks, um, if you've noticed in my intros here and, and even in my channelings, um, even from the beginning, you know, I speak a lot about... Um, ascension as a whole and uh, that's what I've always kind of been guided to do I believe that's part of my soul mission work um, a piece of it you know I'm, I'm still trying to unravel my mission um, but I do believe that it is a small piece of it teaching and um, you know helping others who are on this journey to awaken and understand what is happening and this path to awakening um, this path to ascension. It is, it's a difficult journey. It's a difficult journey to understand. You know, we get pieces of it. Um, and that piece, it's the spiral, you know, that piece just leads us to greater and greater and greater understanding as we move along this journey. Um, but so that's where um, I'm being guided to kind of take these videos. So if you resonate with that, then great. I, you know, I love it. If you want to hit the subscribe button, I'd love to have you here. I really do love this community. I really do love doing readings for you guys. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, there are some amazing readers out there who are more focused on the relationship aspect. Um, and so, you know, beautiful souls who are doing, you know, their work as well. Um, so you can, you know, feel free to resonate with them as well. Um, what else? There is um, a beautiful soul that I do want to mention. Um, there are a few YouTubers here who I actually do resonate with and follow with regards to where I am on my ascension journey, with where I am with my divine counterpart. Um, I don't resonate with a whole lot anymore, um, unfortunately. Um, but these few uh, these few readers, um, they they really always seem to resonate with what's going on with my divine counterpart, with my with my journey, with, with how I am. And uh, one of those readers, uh, Erica at Crystal Rose Insights, just put out a beautiful video uh, about the awakening journey, about the stages. And we're not talking, you know, the twin flame stages. We're talking just basic stages of where the masculine is and where the feminine is, how they're feeling at certain stages of their journey. Sorry, you guys, I had to take a phone call. Um, okay, so what I wanted to say was um, Erica at Crystal Rose Insights recently put out a video about um, how the Divine Feminine heals the Divine Masculine or helps to heal the Divine Masculine, and it's all about the awakening journey. And it's about the stages, not the Twin Flame stages, but the stages of this, this journey, about this path to ascension and where the Divine Masculine is, where the Divine Feminine is, and how they're feeling towards each other at these certain stages. And it just helped to clarify everything everything that I had experienced with my Divine Masculine. Um, from his, you know, kind of holding things close to the chest to my feelings of doubt, um, this is collective. This, These feelings are collective. You know, our individual journeys really are individual to, our, to ourselves. You know, we, you know, it's unique to us, to our Divine counterparts. It's, you know, just like every story is different, but the blueprint is collective. The blueprint is very familiar. Um, the path is familiar. So even though we have our own individual stories, um, it's almost like, you know, the series as a 
a whole is, is collective. Um, so I'm going to put that in the description box below. Um, because it, you know, I, I just, it resonated with me so much and I think it can really help everybody on this journey. I really do. Um, it, it was just, it, it just made so much sense as far as where we are and where we're going. Now, there is an extended version of that for purchase, um, that's, that she made available for purchase. Um, I don't use, I don't ever, um, purchase the extended readings from any reader, um, just because I just don't, I, you know, I just... I just don't, but um, I respect anybody who does. Um, there's no judgment or anything there. Um, but I did purchase this one, and um, it, I, if it does resonate with you, if the, if the first half does resonate with you of her video, then I would encourage you because it does show. Um, I we were my divine counterpart and I are at that level where we are on that in that third between the second and that third stage, and it helps us to know. It helps me to know where we are, um, to understand where we are and where we're going, um, and it, it helps to understand ascension as a whole. So it's it was really beautiful. I'm gonna recommend it. It's in the description box below. Um, follow her channel as well. Um, really beautiful readings. So I did I did want to uh, recommend that. Okay, let's see. Um, so what we're going to do here today, we're going to do um, overall energies, then we're going to get into what the masculine is going through, what the feminine is going through, how they feel about each other, um, possibly healing blocks, I'm not sure if we're going to get into that today, um, and then uh, final messages from the counterparts to each other. So let's get into it. Let's get into this first part of this video, and then we'll split it up um, and get into a deeper reading. So let's get the overall energies first. I'm using the what is this? The Wisdom of the Higher Realms by Colette Barry Reed for the overall energies for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. I've already called in my Angels, Ascended Masters, and Spirit Guides. Removed my ego. For me, messages for these collectives, best and highest good. Let me be a clear channel for these collectives best and highest good bringing forth messages for this divine counterpart. All right, let's get into it. Where is the divine masculine today? Where is the divine ma masculine today? Now, um, I channel intuitively. Um, I channel through spirit messages, symbols, um, feelings that I'm getting from the cards from spirit. Um, I don't go by traditional means, just to let you guys know. Um, don't read reversals when we get into the tarot, and um, unless they guide me to. Yeah, energies are ready here. Great. Um, Okay, we're ready. Yep. Okay, and the Divine Feminine, please. Where's the Divine Feminine? If the messages don't resonate with you, don't take them. It just means it's not meant for you at this time. I do intend for all these videos to be uh, without restrictions, to be timeless. Um, so if you happen upon this video, it's meant for you at this time, regardless of the timestamp. It means you were called to see it. You were moved to, if you were moved to watch this video, then it means there's something in here for you, a message in here for you. Divine Feminine, please. Divine Feminine, please. Union energies, please. Union energies, please. What's going on with this collective? Union energies, please. Hmm. This is lovely energy here, you guys. I have a lot of messages coming in already. 
Um, I just want to get the union energy first, and then we'll start. Okay. Okay. We're going to start with the divine masculine. Um, well, we're going to start with overall energies that I'm getting from here. Um, this is ascension. This overall energy that I'm getting here is ascension. Both counterparts are rising to come together, and it is beautiful, beautiful energy. Both counterparts are really, they've done the healing work, or they are doing the healing work, um, and they are really coming together to rise. Like, it's just a, a feeling of rising for both counterparts and not only that but rising together rising in harmony um you are both really in alignment with each other really in alignment with each other greater harmony is happening here because you both have done the work and you are doing the work and you're doing it together so we're going to start with the Divine Masculine, and we have the Metal King. It says Discipline, Armor, and Boundaries. Your Divine Masculine is really, they are stepping into their, their authority. They're stepping into their Emperor energy. They are standing their ground, um, really acknowledging the power within themselves. Not only acknowledging the power within themselves, but acknowledging this connection, acknowledging what this means for their own journey, um, and really stepping into themselves. Um, they are creating boundaries for themselves with others and with regards to this it means um, letting go of the past um, and telling others that they are letting go of the past energetically this is happening energetically um, possibly in the physical realm but I'm getting energetically that they are creating boundaries and saying listen to others this was my past and I am no longer this person um, so we have armor here but it is like um, they are removing the armor around their heart um, and stepping more fully into their power in that way. And what I'm getting here with this armor um, card is as they are, it's a different kind of armor that they're putting up. You know, they're, they're removing that that metal. They're removing the blocks to themselves. They're removing any of the masks. They're removing any of the illusions. Anything that kept them restricted and kept them from a place of love, kept them from feeling emotion. Now they're getting a different kind of armor, armor from the divine, um, spirit guidance, spirit um, protection. They are really stepping into a place. They're rising up and stepping into a place where they know that they are guided by the divine, that the spirit world always has their back, that the universe always has their back. So it's a different kind of protection. Um, it's, a, it's a loving kind of protection. They know that they don't need this armor anymore, so they're really removing it, removing You see how he's wearing a mask? Really removing that mask, removing the armor. And in its place, they are able to be more vulnerable, able to express their emotions better, able to feel their emotions better, where before they were kind of numbing out to it, creating that resistance to their emotions and what they were feeling, creating resistance to this journey as a whole. Um, but now what's happening is they are feeling more protected from the divine. They are understanding this journey and they are feeling like, if I do remove this armor and I open up my heart with this, these heart activations that are coming in, with the, these downloads and these light activations that are coming in, the heart chakra that is opening, they're understanding that they are in a safe place that they can do this because they have risen so high. They've raised the vibrations. Um, they've had this awakening. They're moving through their darkness, moving through their dark night of the soul, moving through their tower moment. And really stepping into their place of feeling powerful and feeling grounded and feeling like they are becoming more of who they are meant to be without the mask and without the illusions and without their past holding them down. Um, they're also pointing me to 37, which adds up to a 10, and that is completion. So they're they're coming to, they're rising and coming to a completion of their karmic cycles, releasing the past, releasing their masks, releasing the illusions, releasing anything that no longer serves them. And again, they're pointing me to when they are releasing their past, um, it could be relationships, it could be... Um, workplaces, it could be home life, you know, however that's resonating, whatever it is from their past, it could be experiences, addictions, habits, belief systems, whatever it is that they are letting go of, whatever it is that they are creating healthy boundaries around, it is energetic. They don't have to, you know, let go in the physical, like if it's, you know, if they have parents or children or siblings or friends, um, work jobs, you know, you don't have to cut anything physically out of your life, but release the energy around it. Release that toxic energy around it and say, this is no longer serving me. I am moving on from this energy and that energy will naturally um, fade away. Those connections will naturally fade away. 
as you rise into what serves you, as you embrace what you want for this new life, because it is really a new life. That is what they're doing. They're removing the armor of their old life. This is all the heaviness of the past, weighing it down. Like metal is very, very dense. Metal is very, very heavy. And that has been weighing them down. And what they're doing is they are ascending into this new life of love, this new life of light. And light and love is just it is light. It is It is not this heaviness. And so they are really releasing and just dropping the armor, dropping the density, um, dropping that heaviness of their past and letting it fall behind them, understanding that anything that they've experienced in their past is their past. And it led them to this point, which is beautiful, but they can let that go as they remember more of who they are. Okay. The Divine Feminine, we have the Hawk Prince. It says spirit communication and paying attention. And again, um, they're pointing me to the 11 number. So this is, you know, Divine Counterparts here. This is also Ascension. This is also Awakening. And this is an Ascension. This is a rising up of the Divine Feminine as well. So the masculine is really rising, re releasing um, the weights of the past, releasing this armor of the past that has been weighing them down so that they can rise. And the Divine Feminine is doing that as well. You see the wings? Um, they're doing that as well. They are really ascending into the higher realms so that they can bring that template down, that 5D template down, that shift in consciousness down, that shift in into love consciousness so that the twins, can, the, twins um, the divine counterparts, can come together into that love, into that harmony, and, you know, into that spiritual connection, that relationship, and then expand that love to the world and show the world what that love truly is what love truly is here what they're telling me is as they are ascending the spiritual gifts are opening so it is the crown chakra and the brow chakra that are opening even the um even okay so they're saying even the throat chakra now the divine feminine usually is um very good at communicating um so the um because they are in the higher level chakras that's where the divine feminine kind of resides in the higher level chakras whereas the masculine really grounds the energy in the lower level chakras and you need both like you need balance in all seven chakras right but what i've been channeling for quite a while now is that the divine feminine is in the higher level chakras the divine masculine is in the lower level chakras and as you come into alignment and wholeness within yourself you balance those chakras out and you meet at the bridge the masculine and feminine energies meet at the bridge so you come into wholeness within yourself and then you come into wholeness with your divine counterpart and the masculine rises up the feminine anchors that down and you meet at the bridge in the heart chakra so what's happening is the divine feminine is really um, opening up to her gifts opening up to the spiritual communication, opening up to guidance, um, the masculine is rising up to that as well. So the, the feminine is bringing that down. The masculine is grounding that into the physical reality as they open up their own intuitive gifts. Um, and as they, they'll they open up their intuitive gifts as they lower their masses, as they um, get rid of their ego, get rid of their illusions that they've been holding on to. This is all um, spiritual beliefs as well. Um, releasing their spiritual beliefs um, so that they can rise into new understanding. Same for the Divine Feminine. They are uh, transcending and ascending, um, transcending what they thought they knew um, to open up to more spiritual communication, to open up to more of their intuitive gifts. They're feeling it in their heart activations. They're feeling it in their crown and chakra activations, their third eye activations. Um, and in their ability to express themselves. So both counterparts are really doing the work, both releasing energy from the past, opening up their intuition, opening up their intuitive and spiritual gifts, and really ascending and rising together to meet at the heart, to meet at the bridge of the heart chakra. Beautiful, beautiful energy. So here in the union energies, we have the horse king, assistance and control, and the ice queen, ideas preserved, non-action, and entitlement. What they're telling me here is this is okay so they're telling me so we have it's an image of just of ice it's the ice queen um an image of we have the word non-action this is the freeze this, they're giving me the words deep freeze um and this is where a lot of the divine counterparts were for a while especially divine masculines feeling really numb within their emotions um but the cycle is coming to a close eight into the ten the completion of the cycle is coming to a close um it is thawing it is melting um the ice around 
their hearts are melting from the divine feminine as well because the divine feminine has to come back to a place of forgiveness especially for the divine masculine especially for themselves um so the divine feminine is doing this as well melting back into a place of love releasing control releasing the need to control everything releasing they're giving me the word releasing the need to tame um releasing the expectations releasing the um, outcome. Releasing control is a major, major part of this in order to come back into a place of unconditional love. Four and two, they're telling me, is six. And six is a number of love. Six is a number of unconditional love. So that's what they're doing. They are um, thawing out thawing out the soul, thawing out the heart, releasing that control, releasing what it is that they thought they knew, um, giving it up to the divine, understanding that everything is happening, not only in divine timing, but according to um, how your souls have orchestrated this together. Um, what they're reminding me of is it's very important not to focus on the physical because the physical is a field of illusions. The physical is this matrix of illusion, of masks that we all wear. Um, this self-identity, this human construct is a mask itself. And when we strip all of that down, we are love and light. We are just pure unconditional love. And that is what we are ascending to. Um, so, But the physical is an illusion. And what we have to do is remember, pull back and look at things from that higher perspective. Always look at things from a higher perspective. Um, they're saying a way to start doing that is saying, not what is happening to me, but what is happening for me. What am I learning here? What am I experiencing? How am I reacting and why am I reacting? How am I being treated? triggered and what is this teaching me about myself how am i healing always pull back and look at things from the higher perspective from the broader perspective of this journey um of this journey this this path that we're on and of the journey the soul's journey the hero's journey is actually what they're telling me um so beautiful it's beautiful energy we're going to get some clarifying cards let's um i'm going to use this mystic moon twin flame oracle deck to get clarifying cards really like this deck so let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine. Overall energies for the Divine Masculine, some clarifiers. It's a very gentle energy here. I'm really enjoying this. A very gentle energy. Both counterparts really rising and doing the healing. We should be so proud of both counterparts. Um, the Divine Feminine, they're telling me, coming to a place of resist um, um, forgiveness of the resistance, of the hurt that they have felt, of the struggle of this journey. Um, the Divine Masculine really releasing that resistance in order to come to the Divine Feminine, in order to feel their emotions and understand the love that this journey is offering to them, that they are worthy, that they are deserving of this love, that they are deserving of their Divine Counterparts, um, that they are deserving of the love of the Divine. And what they're saying is, it is the Trinity, and I've been channeling this quite a a bit actually from the beginning the divine masculine divine feminine and the divine is a trinity um it is there is no separation there it is when we say the trinity it is just like um in christianity in catholicism the um the father son and holy ghost there is no separation there it is a trinity so it is the same with the divine masculine the divine feminine and the divine you work together in tandem it is it is one. It is one. That is pure oneness. And that is what we are understanding on this journey, um, reaching that unity consciousness, reaching that Christ consciousness, that place of pure unconditional love. And the divine masculine is um, having heart activations in order to open up their heart towards the divine feminine and understand what this connection truly is and what this connection is bringing to the table, so to speak, and how it is going to help this connection is going to help uplift the planet. Now, the divine feminine has already kind of understood this journey because she's been on this path for a while, because she's been doing the studies. Um, it's been kind of, they're telling me it's been kind of a burden on the Divine Feminine, um, because they're kind of carrying the weight of this relationship, having had this awakening, um, having had this understanding of this path to ascension, having understood what it means, um, the this twin flame, twin soul path, um, this spiritual connection, what that means. The masculine, so they've hold, held some kind of, they, they've held a bit of resentment towards the Divine Masculine um, because they've been carrying kind of the weight of this. Um, because, you know, they, they see their divine counterpart kind of hurting them and they're not understanding. They're, they're saying, you know, I know that you love me. I know that you love me unconditionally. Why are you putting up a hand to me? Why are you resisting this? But it is a process of healing that the divine masculine must go through in order to meet the divine feminine where they are.
and they're doing it. They are going through the healing. They are going through the purge, the same purge. The feminines, you know, sometimes we forget that we went through this as well. We went through that dark night, the same dark night that the divine masculine is going through. That's that still, that that same questioning of faith, that same questioning of the, the shift in consciousness, what is happening, how, what is this ascension journey? Um, we just, we just found a different path to it. The divine masculine is now coming to that path as you come into greater alignment together, um, starting to understand that path, starting to understand that connection. But, you know, they've been awakening as well. You know, you have kind of awakened together. Um, they're just starting to understand this path. It's, they're going through like their own awakening, their mini awakening, even though they've had a spiritual awakening before. But now that it's like they're understanding this path better they're understanding what the divine feminine has um, been seeing what the divine feminine has um, been been experiencing um, and what this connection really means but never forget that divine masculine has you know has has something to bring too. you know they have their gifts they have their talents they have their intuition they have their open heart they have um, their own journey that they have been on as well, and it has been a struggle for them as well. So divine um, feminines must have compassion and have forgiveness for the divine masculines. Because the, the divine masculine does hold unconditional love, they've just been going through their own journey. They've just been following their own path. And now what's happening is you're coming into alignment together. You are now, the, the two roads diverge into one wood. Um... That's what's happening. It's that Robert Frost poem. Sorry, they, they gave that to me as an example. But it really is. It's it's two paths. Um it two two paths now coming converging into the wood. Um two paths now coming together and you're gonna be a union is walking along that path together now into your mission work, into uplifting the planet, into unconditional love, into bliss and happiness and manifestation, bringing that 5D template down into the physical, bringing that that pure unconditional love down into the, to the physical. But you have approached this from different paths. Neither path is better or worse than the other. Neither path is superior. Um that is just, you know, duality thinking. There has been no separation you have both been walking on this journey together you're just approaching it from different angles and now you are converging and joining together into union energy all right beautiful those are beautiful messages so let's get some um see if there's any additional messages for overall energies for the divine masculine what's the divine masculine going through let me see that one came out so we're going to take it yeah we're going to take them all so the divine we got healing reinvention and admired so with this energy this is what they're going through currently they are really reinventing themselves they are breaking down the mask tearing down that armor that has been a weight around their heart um, a weight around their mind they are breaking down their ego um, breaking down their pride um, um, they're saying they're going through some guilt they're experiencing some shame they're experiencing some um, residual energy from their past that's kind of um, holding them back but that is what they're healing they're coming into balance with all these chakras their chakras are activating I um, and coming into alignment with the divine feminine um, because you guys are um, divine counterparts you are you know with the same frequency the exact same match this is true true love um, and so being the divine counterparts, uh, you are activating your chakras together, aligning your chakras together. Um, but the divine masculine, that's part of the healing process, opening up the gifts, opening up the, the chakras, opening up the heart, having the heart activation. Um, but as that's happening, they're really reinventing themselves. They're really understanding that they're releasing the past and coming into a new level of consciousness coming into a new understanding of who they are, coming into that emperor energy, just really that, we have king here, but really that emperor energy of standing in their authority, holding their ground, um, being powerful, um, control in a, not a restrictive way, being in control of their life, but not in a restrictive way. Um, you know, when we say you have, you have to release control, you have to release control, control to the divine, um, you know, you cannot control the outcome of anything. You cannot be so holding on so tightly. That's the control that we're letting go of. But being in control of, of their life is really about taking action. And that's the kind of control that we're talking about, taking action for their own life, owning their life, um, understanding how powerful they truly are. That is what they are um, coming into alignment with. That is what they are, how they are reinventing themselves. 
And as they do that, as the heart activations are happening, as the healing is happening, as the ego is breaking down and the heart and the emotions are really taking center stage as they're learning to trust their emotions and let that guide them because that heart is the soul of themselves and they're they're trusting the divine to always have their back, um, then they are coming closer and closer to their divine feminine who they love and admire so much. There is pure unconditional love here and they see the divine feminine transforming as well and they're starting to recognize that in themselves that you are transforming together, that this is happening in partnership, that this is happening in harmony, that this is happening in balance, that now you are really transforming and going through this journey together, that you're no longer alone. You were never alone. That's just separation consciousness. You were never truly alone, but now they're starting to feel this. Now they're starting to, the, the ice is numbing. The ice is melting. That, that numbing, that, that numb feeling that they were really feeling, um, being so stuck in their ego minds is melting away as um, old beliefs, old patterns of behavior and old um, past experiences, um, toxic behavior, any, you know, anything that doesn't serve them, that's melting away. And it is really thawing out their heart and it is allowing them to feel and what they're feeling is just love for themselves, for this newly birthed self and for the divine counterpart because it is one in the same. The love for the self, you cannot love unless you love yourself first. You cannot love another completely unless you love yourself first and they are starting to realize this. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, and let's get for the divine feminine. What's going on with the divine feminine please currently? What's going on with the Divine Feminine piece currently? Mm. Okay. We have spring and we have commitment. And what they're telling me here, um, two messages here. One is regarding the self, um, the feminine self. The, the Divine Feminine is really blossoming, coming into her power, feeling more of a commitment to herself and her journey. Now, this is not, it's, it's a message that they're very, it's a very strong energy right now from spirit. They're very adamant in this. And I've actually been experiencing this in my own Divine Counterpart Um experience my own divine journey, um, both within myself and with my divine counterpart. So it's a very strong message and, and I'm, I'm believing it's going to resonate with a lot of you here. <sighs> this journey is not all or nothing. It is not. It is a blending. It is a union. It is a, a harmonic balance. So it is not, I can't, I can only love myself so I can't love you. It is not, I want to love everybody so I can't love this one person. It is not, I want to love everybody so I have to love myself or I love myself so I can love everybody. It is harmony. It is balance. And that is what they're telling us here is that the divine feminine is coming to a place where she is so full of love. Her cup is overflowing so much that it is blossoming and she's able to make a commitment not only to herself but to her divine counterpart. And the divine counterpart, the masculine, is coming into a greater understanding of commitment with the divine feminine. And that's what this is about. Um, they're, so they're, they are giving me a timeline. Um, I don't usually read timelines, but they are saying spring that there will be a new higher level of commitment for this union, however that looks for your dynamic. Um, but you see, it's, it's, it's unity consciousness as well. It is an understanding that as you come into wholeness within yourself and fill up your cup that's how that outpouring it just is in excess the love just expands and expands and expands and it expands to your divine counterpart as you come together and as you come together it's just more love it's the two of cups energy you're both coming um i'm gonna i'm being guided to get that um card out so that you guys can see it because it's it's a really beautiful visual Um, bear with me one minute. It's a really, it's a beautiful visual. And I bet you it is at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> because of course. Yeah. So what's happening, this is the Two of Cups, this is the Divine Counterparts, this is a soulmate connection. So what happens is you both approach each other with full cups, overflowing cups, and it's like there's a third cup, it's like the Three of Cups, it's like that third cup pouring in to 
I wish I had the other deck up here with me because it's a beautiful image. If any of you guys have the Arcanum deck, it's a beautiful image of just two cups being poured into one and it's overflowing and that is exactly what happens. So your your Mashlin has their full cup. Um, they're, they're starting to fill themselves up as they heal, as they go through this purging process, as they, they get rid of this residual negative energy, um, as they heal themselves and have this rebirth. Um, the feminine as well, um, as she loves herself and stands in her power, filling her cup up and it just overflows and look there's an ocean here it is an ocean and this is the rest of humanity it affects the rest of humanity so as you come together with your own cups you have to fill up your own cup you come into this union into this partnership with your divine counterpart and the cups just overflow and impact everything around you help you raise the vibes of the entire planet and it's it's shifting the paradigm it's what shifts the paradigm into this new earth into this new energetic realm of just love, unconditional love and harmony together, of love and peace and balance. And it's just, and it's divinely guided. You have this light here. This is divine, a divine connection, divinely guided. And you feel that in the signs and synchronicities that you experience. Um, you, you know, the, the strange things that happen. I'll give you an example. I'm being guided to give you an example to continue with these these messages. Um, my divine counterpart and I, um, I, I was, my cup was empty back in October. I went through a real big tower moment where I had to step away from our relationship. It was very, very painful, I think, for both of us. Um, but I was just giving too much and my cup was empty and I just, I had to make a change. I could not stay in stagnant energy anymore and I knew it because we were just perpetuating the same cycle. So I had to take a step back. I never left him. I even told him that I, I had never truly left him. I was always with him, always loving him, always. There is nothing but unconditional love for him. But I had to take a step back and evaluate myself and fill my cup back up, um, step back into my power. And, um, you know, I was trusting the universe to guide me in that, you know, what, trusting my intuition, what felt right. You know, if I was moved to reach out to him, I reached out to him. If I was not, I did not, um, because it was a place of healing. That separation was a, a space for healing for us both, because we could not come together and heal. Um, there are times when you use separation and you use closeness for healing, and we were in a period where we could not come together to heal. We had to heal in our own separate ways. It did not mean that we were apart. It just meant that we were healing in our own separate ways, in our own separate timing. So what happened was um, the universe, it was actually time, did not realize that it was that time until the universe actually stepped in and brought a friend who I had not seen since college. Um, it had been 12 years um, since we had even talked. Um, asked me to do a reading for her, said she was in the same town as my divine counterpart. Um, we actually arranged to meet a half a block away from where he lives. And, you know, after I got out of the reading with her, um, I just felt so much love for my divine counterpart that I went to see him and um, it, it lifted us up into a new level of our relationship into a new level of love and um, and that's that's what that's what happens the divine is guiding this that's an example of the divine guiding this of divine timing divine timing is not just um, it is, divine timing is about this journey as a whole it's about this ascension journey as a whole it's not just about you know, it's going to happen when it happens. It's about really trusting and having faith that the universe is putting you where you need to be, exactly where you need to be, that they are helping to guide this um, and that you are always where you need to be, when you need to be, always right on time, always in the exact place, time that you are meant to be. What is meant for you is where you are. Um, so back to this message, um, what they're saying is, you know, the divine feminine has really been doing the healing work as well, coming into greater wholeness within herself, committing to herself, first and foremost, committing to the journey with herself, herself, his self, you know, the divine feminine energy, um, committing to, um, filling up her cup first and foremost with love. And then that commitment extends to the divine counterpart, um, and, and that's, you know, a message for the Divine Masculine as well. It is it is not singular. It is not a singular energy. It is embracing the whole. It is not duality where it's all or nothing. Because as you come into commitment, as you commit to this journey, and as you commit to yourself, then you commit to your Divine Counterpart, and you commit to the Divine. Oh, beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, but this is a blossoming, a rebirth herself for the Divine Feminine herself. And um, they are saying that there's going to be a new level for this specific group, for this, excuse me, for this specific segment that I'm, I'm channeling. There is going to be some kind of leveling up, a new phase, because there's a lot of completion happening here. 
a lot of ending of old cycles and you have no, you know, the universe came in and they pushed the masculine and the feminine to do this, to close out these karmic cycles, especially with this very powerful um, last eclipse event, um, the, the eclipse that we just had with the full moon. Um, very, very powerful energies, especially with it, it beginning a new year, um, the, the number three, it's a number three year. Um, starting, you know, we're starting an entirely new cycle here. And so the universe, you know, any stagnation that was happening, the universe came in with some tower moments and really pushed um, to release any last resistance, really pushed this connection forward um, for the self and for your connection. Um, and that's what's happening here. We're going to start seeing um, the manifestations coming in into the physical because you're already doing it in the energetic realms. Um, but you're anchoring in, you're, you're pulling it down from the 5D into the physical and you're going to start seeing um, the manifestations of that and a higher level of commitment within yourself and with your divine counterpart, both with this union energy in, in the spring, in the spring months. Um, they're telling me that there is going to be another eclipse, a powerful eclipse around March. Um, if you guys, I'm not sure about that. That's what they're channeling to me. If you guys want to let me know if that's true or not. Um, but that's what they're telling me. There's going to be another powerful eclipse that is going to change the dynamic in a positive way. It's going to be an up leveling, another up leveling, um, not tower moments, um, because we've really ended that cycle. Um, you have healed so much that you've ended that cycle. It's not going to be that struggle that it was, um, but it's just an up leveling of harmony and up leveling of your spiritual connection. And even, um, the balancing of the chakras and the opening of the spiritual gifts is what they're telling me. So, uh, we have a lot coming in spring, um, just a couple of months and time is an illusion. So <laughs> that's, you know, take that for what it is. All right. And union energies, what do you have for union energies? I'm getting the chills here. That is you know, let me know in the comments if something's coming, um, and if it if it happens, if you're if you're watching this and it's, you know, if, and it's you know beyond that date, let me know if that happens for you guys. Um, I want to hear your stories. I love hearing your stories, and where you are in your journey. If this is resonating with you, so what's happening with union energies, please? Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have abandoned and we have metamorphosis. And what they're telling me is that you are abandoning. It's the closing out of the cycle. You're abandoning everything in the past that didn't serve you, both um, both partners. You're abandoning all that pain, abandoning all of that um the the residual energy that is just that was keeping you stagnant that was keeping you in a place of control needing to control holding on so tightly resisting um you you are abandoning that there also there's also a small uh, a, a message for a small segment it could be one person it could be a segment um that you are also um perhaps you were healing feelings of abandonment um they're saying you're healing that as well you're transforming that feeling as well and knowing, connecting to the divine and understanding that you were never truly abandoned. This could have be some inner child healing. This could be some past life um, wounding that's coming through. Um, but they're saying that you were never abandoned, that that's just separation consciousness and you're understanding that the divine was always here with you. Um, they're saying like through the open window is what they were saying. You know, you just had to look out the window and understand that, you know, this was the window to the divine, their connection to the divine, that you were never abandoned. Um, so this is what you're healing now. Um, this coming together and it is transforming you're having this metamorphosis and you have this moon here this is um they're telling me it's a new moon cycle so we have an upcoming new moon here you know we have a new moon every month um but this new moon is going to be very important um is what they're telling me this new moon is going to be another level of this metamorphosis because especially for the divine masculine it's like you are coming out of the tower moment you are coming out of that very difficult energy um, very, you know, this darkness, this dark night of the soul, this crisis of faith, um, this questioning everything, this breaking down of illusions, breaking down the masks, um, questioning your spiritual beliefs, still clinging to those spiritual beliefs, but, but breaking them down so that you can come to a new understanding and an open heart so that new spiritual beliefs can take their place. Not new, but like a, a greater understanding. They're showing me the spiral again, the Nautilus. Um, so here's, is what's happening is you, as you heal this, um, you are going through a met complete metamorphosis. It is the breaking down of the caterpillar. Um, so they're telling me this. Um, when I was very, very sick, I learned that the caterpillar, when they go into the chrysalis, they break down into goo. 
um, completely transform into this gooish, gooish substance, and then they build themselves back up and transform into the butterfly and break free from the chrysalis with wings to fly as these butterflies. And so they're, they're reminding me of that, that metaphor that really helped me through my illness because I really had my awakening as I was going through my illness. I had this like kind of rebirth here. Nothing compared to what I've experienced with Ascension in the past year and a half, um, but really it was a rebirth and that's what's happening here. It is this breaking down um, to both Divine Feminines and the Divine Masculine in order to completely transform, to have this complete metamorphosis once again. And really beautiful and they're saying this is going to stay this energy this new energy that we're moving into is going to stay um, and it's just going to expand so you're not it's really the closing out of the past cycles you're not going to experience that anymore um, there's going to still be healing to be do be done still some triggering still some residual energy but those past cycles your past is in your past and that book is closed that door is closed and there are no windows they're telling me there's no reason to look back because that cycle has really come to a close that is where you are on this ascension journey you have completely changed you have been completely broken down and born again beautiful 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 um getting out of that stuck energy they just wanted me to look at the bottom of the deck getting out of that stuck energy um you're not in that anymore and you won't be you won't be because the universe is moving you forward into this phase, into this next phase. And this next phase is this higher dimension. That is what ascension is all about. There is no going back. There's no going back. So there's no reason to look back um, once you are healing, once you've healed. There's no reason to cling to that because the universe is guiding this. The divine is guiding this. God is, gu is guiding this. However you want to call that love energy, that, that universal um, unconditional love energy, whatever you want to call that, um, is they're guiding this. And so trust in that and have faith in that, that they are guiding this metamorphosis. Beautiful energies. Okay, you guys, um, we're going to um, end this overall energies video here. Um, if you want to continue on, we'll have the other video uploading um, as well. Um, it'll be the full version of the reading where we get into the more in depth with the Divine Masculine, what they're experiencing, what the Divine Feminine is experiencing. Um, how they're healing together, what they feel about each other, and all that jazz. So we're going to end this this part of the overall energies here. And we'll see you with another Divine Partnership reading and another Pick a Pile reading coming later this week. Thanks so much for being here. Much love and much light.